In this shocker, two women who were reported to be missing were found murdered and buried. In a suspected case of human sacrifice in Kerala, the victims identified as Padma and Roslyn, who were lottery sellers in Ernakulam, and they were reported missing in June. And in September, the police has arrested three people, and they have been identified as Shafi, and there's a couple who's identified as Bhagwal Singh and his wife Lela. Now, this couple used to run a massage center at their home in Patamitta. Patam Titta, sorry. The couple confessed that the motive behind the heinous human sacrifice was financial betterment. This incident has sent shockwaves across the state of Kerala. Neetu, now this is indeed a very shocking incident. What was assumed and presumed to be two women who have gone missing in a sordid twist of events has turned into a sensational case of human sacrifice. What are the other details that we're learning about this terrible, terrible crime? A oh, very shocking news that had come in, a terrible crime that had been reported from Patanam Titta. Now, we are here at the spot where this horrific crime has happened. This is the residence uh, of uh, Bhagwal Singh and Laila, the couple uh, in whose house uh, this horrific crime had happened. Uh, so, um, we can see that there is still uh, police uh, presence here and uh, we can see that the crime scene has been uh, locked here uh, which says that do not cross it's a crime scene and uh, on the left hand side uh, of this building is uh, uh, the, the the pit where one of the bodies uh, were recovered uh, we can see uh, here that the that uh, the sand has been removed yesterday the police team had exhumed body parts from here so this is one of the pits from where uh, body parts uh, were recovered of uh, one of the victims Padma and Roslyn were the victims on the right hand side is the other pit uh, <laughs> from where uh, the body parts were recovered. What we understand is that uh, these, uh, it, it, it was a very horrific crime. Their bodies were cut into pieces. One body was about uh, 52 uh, piece is what we understand. And there have been, uh, the, 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 these bodies were put actually in four pits, uh, uh, in two smaller pits. The flesh uh, of one of the bodies were also buried uh, deep uh, there. Uh, so uh, on the other side, uh, uh, is this is uh, where we can see those are the visuals of the second uh, pit right now what we can see uh, so what we understand is that uh, there are three uh, uh, there are three accused in this case all three have been arrested one is uh, uh, Mohammed uh, uh, Shafi alias Rashid and then the couple Bhagwal Singh and his wife Laila all three are uh, equally uh, involved in the crime who took part in the murder now if you look at this place we can see See that uh, this area is mostly uh, deserted because uh, though there is a house next to this that house does not have any inhabitants is what uh, we understand so uh, in a place like this where there are uh, th there's one house on the right hand side itself but there are uh, no people there is what we are in understanding on the left hand side it's a major uh, 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 area where we we can see that there is no houses or anything that we can see in this area and it's here uh, that this uh, horrific crime has happened now the people in the area are shocked uh, to see that something has been reported uh, from this area like this he was a traditional healer basically uh, a Vaidyan as we call uh, in, uh, in in Malayalam. So he basically massages uh, people, a traditional healer. So people used to come uh, to this house for this healing. Uh, uh, that's what is making it even more shocking. The first murder happened on June 8th and the second on uh, September 26th. So in both these instances, the women were murdered inside a room in this house uh, behind me. So in one of the rooms, what we understand is that uh, the, the women were tied to a court and they were murdered and uh, their, uh, their body was dismembered and uh, it was put in uh, pits like this, four pits uh, in this uh, uh, compound uh, that we are seeing. Uh, 
uh, horrific details emerging now. The police will have to conduct a DNA test. Forensic examination is being done. They have also recovered weapons like uh, machete, sharp weapons from this. So uh, what is even more shocking is the reason, what the reason that they have said so far for this uh, crime is that they did this to get uh, the blessings and also to get a better financial situation because they were having some trouble. Uh, from the police, what we understand is that uh, one of the accused Shafi Elias Rashid befriended uh, this uh, Bhagwal Singh about uh, one and a half years back through a fake uh, profile on social media claiming to be a lady. He started uh, talking to him and then uh, created a rapport with him and then introduced Rashid as a tantric. And then uh, Shafi himself came to the couple as Rashid and it's uh, according to police he is the one who convinced them uh, of this murder. Well, Neetu, yes, indeed, and you're bringing to us those details. And like you're mentioning, this is such a lurid case. Rashid has lured this couple in first by posing as a woman, as you tell us, which is even more surprising and adds just another layer of shock to this entire case. Posing as a woman, said he's a black magic practitioner, said he would make their lives better. And because they were in a financial fix, uh, they were looking for some quick fix solutions. But who would think that they would be clouded by superstition to go as far as murder? And these two lottery sellers, um, that is Padma and Roslin, were uh, brought by Rashid uh, under the promise of 10 lakhs for shooting a sleazy video. Uh, but little did they know what was in store for them. And you're pointing out this house uh, located in a secluded area. And uh, even the no neighboring house is there, completely empty. So uh, the police there trying to find out if the, all the parts found in that backyard, in that pit, those 30 body parts are of these two women, uh, but Prima Facey looks like it was the area where the murder took place. All right, we're trying to re-establish that connection with Neetu, but she is at that location in Ernakulam where that uh, murder has taken place, Pattanam Titta to be precise, uh, which is where two lottery sellers uh, and the police on their trail of these two missing lottery sellers have actually found that they were offered as human sacrifice by three individuals. That is one, uh, Mohammed uh, Shafi, Ilyas Rashid, who uh, uh, seems to have been projecting himself as a black magic practitioner. And there was a couple that was residing in uh, that uh, house, the father of uh, the husband who was uh, Bhagwal uh, Singh's father was a traditional masseuse in the area and the neighbors have said uh, that they've never uh, had any problems from the couple who kept to themselves. Uh, Neetu there at the location telling us that uh, the neighboring house is secluded as well. Neetu, uh, I was asking you now with the recovery of the weapons, uh, various weapons from uh, that house and the fact that all these body parts were buried. A uh, prima facie, the police must believe that the crime had occurred there or thereabouts. Yes, uh, when we speak to the police, that is uh, what uh, they are telling us, that uh, they believe that the crime happened in one of the rooms inside uh, this house uh, where these women were brought in under some pretext, lured by uh, Sh Shafi Elias Rashid and brought here, these two lottery sellers at different times, they were brought here in this house. Uh, what we understand is that the first lady uh, was tied on the court and then the murder had happened uh, inside this house itself and later this same day itself their bodies were uh, dismembered cut into pieces and then uh, buried here in these pits there are four pits in this uh, compound is what we are understanding um, uh, uh, on the other side it's, it's it's actually a larger one where uh, uh, more body pieces were, were recovered now uh, police have to wait for the forensic uh, reports a DNA test as well as uh, the weapons have also been collected so they are waiting uh, for the uh, report 
codes on that also for uh, further investigation into this. And now not just this, they're also looking at if there are more missing cases and if, if there is any more crime because uh, uh, Rashid, as we know, has been targeting these lottery sellers, uh, these women in uh, uh, Ernaklam area. So they are looking, they are concentrating and investigating into that also. Now here's something which we